to Williams College Taskmaster, the unofficial, unaffiliated, unhappy ripoff of the popular British television series. My name is Malia Hagino, and I am the Taskmaster. Competing for my adoration, along with some points, we have contestants Isaac Wilkins, Izzy Levy, <laughs> Lucy Walker, Noah Cohen Greenberg, and Hallie Della Volpe. And of course, my assistant, Owen Foster, who is a kind and generous friend with great taste in clothes and a winning smile. That was, that was really kind of you, Julia. Well, you know what they uh, say. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. <laughs> that, that makes sense. Um, well, Malia, I, so today is a special team episode of Williams College Taskmaster, and I think of us as a team. Um, and so I've, I've actually, I've, I've put together a little montage, I think, of our best moments as a team. Would you like to see it? Oh, and we've never met in real life. I don't, <laughs> where would you have pictures from? I feel like, don't do this. So, so you don't? So you don't I don't, okay. I don't think that's a good. I okay, don't think so that's a good idea. Oh, okay. So we won't. We won't. Shoot. I don't want to be that close. Okay. Well, we have half an hour to film now. Okay. So our first task of the episode is a photo task. I asked the contestants to bring in a photo that displays the most teamwork. So Malia, who would you like to see first? Gross. Um. Let's just get it out of the way and do Isaac's first. <laughs> So, Is this going to be that black hole again? Do we really need I to need, show it? <laughs> I need you to hear me out for this one. Imagine this. Can I set the scene? Can I set the scene? 347 scientists, 60 institutions, 20 countries and regions. And it doesn't matter that you've all seen it before. What matters is that the amount of... Why are you all so disappointed? I'm just it's shocked that was right. That I Oh, it was like, no way. Very it's not my good. fault that the black hole picture fits all of this. Ugh. I feel like I've said this week after week. If it's not a picture of a butthole, I'm going to be less excited. We'll have to see how everyone else has done. I'm sure they did well. My guess is better than you. Let's have Isaac's little boy toy go. This is me playing a duet with my friend Spencer. Was it just that you didn't have enough fingers or? I mean, in a literal sense, yeah. <laughs> Was it like a he did most of the work and you? Noah, can't you do chopsticks by yourself by now? No, I need two, I need, I need two people. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, Izzy, you can go. I just think it's nice. And I don't want any like, snide remarks. It's just a nice photo. <laughs> It's a lovely photo of people who are reasonably close to my heart. But this is from before you were a team. Yeah, but we were a team. But we were always a team. It was just like unofficial. All right, then. Let's have a little Lucy. These are uh, some of my friends from high school, and I asked them to take a picture of a letter, and they could be in it. Or they could not be in it. Thought it might be pork, but it does. <laughs> Team pork. <laughs> Lucy, it is pretty brave of you to be friends with a piece of paper with an M on it, though. <laughs> she Lucy says it's me sometimes, though. I will also, um, I, I'd like to add here that the phrasing of the task was, uh, you're a photo that best displays teamwork, and this one literally displays teamwork. Has the word teamwork. I would have accepted it even if it had said team pork. And now I can manipulate these photos however I want and spell out like worm meat or something <laughs> if I don't like it. You could manipulate these however you wanted and you would choose <laughs> worm meat. Don't <laughs> criticize her. She's a genius and an artist. The tone with which responses are delivered is vastly disproportionate. <laughs> To be fair, it's actually based on the quality of the photos people sent <laughs> in. Allie, could you show us your photo now, please? This is a massive bottle of wine. It took like 20 people, multiple cups of wine to finish. I'm really glad it was 20 people and not just the two of these people because <laughs> that would be pretty tough. Um, okay. You all did really well this week. 
with the photo task, like surprisingly well. And therefore, Hallie, Lucy, and Noah are all getting five points. Isaac and Izzy are getting four points. Oh, okay. <laughs> because theirs show literal displays of teamwork while yours are more figurative representations of teamwork. All right, it is time for our first team task of the team episode. Um, this one uh, involves uh, some food. In your team, write down your 10 favorite foods. You must agree on not only the items in the list, but also the order, then read the next part of the task. Now write down in order the 10 foods you think the other team wrote down. You have 30 minutes, your time starts now. So now, good thing we spent an hour on the first part, because now we have 30 minutes to do okay. this. So this was a two-parter. Uh, write down your favorite foods, then guess the other team's favorite foods. Uh, we are going to see uh, one team's part A alongside the other team's part B. Buff chick pizza. pizza agreed. I, I think you can just... Uh, we don't need to debate over type of pizza. Yeah, I think the pizza offers. is fine. And then you can think of it like it's buff chick pizza. Okay, so I think pizza. I think mint chocolate chip ice cream it just is like a solid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, but I'll put mint chocolate chip ice cream and what can I think of that as? You can think of it as mint cookie <laughs> crumble ice cream from Stewart's shops. So good. I feel like ice cream could be on there. Um, I would say sushi, but also, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. And bagels. Hamburgers. That's a good one. Turkey burgers or? No. <laughs> well, no. right? Isaac. And then you can think of it. Isaac, over my dead body, will you put <laughs> turkey burger on 10 favorite foods? What do you think about burgers? Because, like, I don't really like burgers, but I can I, see the three of them. I don't really eat red meat, but. Me either. That's so crazy. <laughs> oh my god. This was just Owen's ploy so that we would fall in love. Honestly, me is like any kind of noodle. Yeah, steamed <laughs> like pasta. I think you can just think pa <laughs> for pasta. You can just think. No, pasta. yeah, just for pasta because I I also mean like Chinese noodles, but whatever. Right. Okay, I I feel oh. safe in this team. What about um <laughs> uh, drunken noodles at uh uh uh? That's probably the best food. I've never had. I've never. I've never. Ah. Put <laughs> down Asian noodle, whitey. Cross <laughs> out pasta then. And or mac and cheese. Yeah, Izzy loves mac and cheese. What? Yeah, I think we should put potato I, chips on there. Then chips. Chicken. Chicken's tasty. Just chicken. <laughs> chicken tenders. That's like they're pretty, they pretty good. I feel like chicken's also not a bad bet. I would say like burritos would probably be in my top ten. Yeah. But Bur if not, what about burrito now? bowls? Do you think Izzy would eat falafel? Noah orders falafel like every time they, we get snar. I like bananas. Not in my top ten. <laughs> but when but when we put down hamburgers, you can think <laughs> of it like bananas. Grapes are so good. Yeah, I put apples or grapes. I don't like oranges. Yeah, grapes. I think we should put mozzarella. I know Izzy like mozzarella sticks. Um, like <laughs> biscuits. Ooh, biscuits are really good. Then French fries. Think eggs, for a minute. Eggs, eggs. No. Think for a minute about- whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, wait a second. <laughs> eggs are foundational and- Agreed. Yes, obviously, but they're not your favorite food by themselves. Like, like, like it's, your, it's your last meal, they're like, what do you want? You're like, can I have an egg? <laughs> <laughs> with, with sriracha, maybe. Okay, that's insane. Um. I feel like we have to have like a taskmaster anti-bullying someone. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm allowed to do it. You're not. <laughs> Stop ganging up on Isaac just because he eats weird shit. Okay, but it was kind of worth it to watch Noah like caress Isaac's hat every that time. Was, that was so funny every not time. A consolation prize. <laughs> so Malia, you have some, some of those are pretty clear cut chips. Uh, Hallie and Lucy guessed spot on. Um, others, there were some questions of. Can you render verdicts on some of the more questionable guesses. Mm -hmm. Noah's team uh, put uh, chicken tenders. Um, Lucy's team guessed chicken. I would say, yeah, they can have that one. Izzy's team put down uh, mint chocolate chip ice cream, and Hallie's team guessed uh, just ice cream. No. 
They can't have that one. Not getting that one. Wow. Um, so how scoring places work is you're going to get a point for every correct guess um, and a bonus point if that correct guess was in the right spot. Hallie and Lucy correctly guessed that the first item on their list would be pizza. So that is two points. And then in the wrong spots, but the right foods, they had burger, chicken, and chips for a total of five points. Well, okay. I felt bad because like after we made, because we spent like a long time on that list, like at least like 30 or 40 minutes, I feel like. And literally like a bunny. <laughs> and why did we spend so long making the list? <laughs> I felt bad when they were talking because like everything they were saying was like 100% right. And I also got like emo because like they know stuff about me and I didn't get to repay them by it being correct. <laughs> oh, they're so right. Mac and cheese, I eat mac and cheese every single day. And Lucy has brought me lots of relatives from Snar like probably once a week for six months. <laughs> Aww. Lucy and Hallie getting five points there for the correct guesses. Now we will see them create their list. Um, and Noah, Izzy, and Isaac try and guess the foods on their list. Do you have an all-time favorite food? I'm really into peanut butter. I guess, do, you think, do we think peanut butter is on there? I guess I don't, but I would hate to have this. It's like me yeah, saying yeah, yeah. audio over a picture of them having peanut butter on the list. Yeah, yeah. And then it's Isaac's smug face in real time. I think that the beverage that is most likely to make it on there is milkshake. How do you feel about mozzarella sticks? Also really good. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Do you think they would put cheese? Like just cheese? I don't know. Yeah, grilled cheese. Uh, Lucy made uh, grilled cheese. Feel like french fries. <laughs> oh yeah, put that in there for sure. Do we think they put french fries? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to submit chicken tiki masala. <gasps> Oh, yes. Yeah? Okay, good. It's really funny that you say chicken tiki masala to me. <laughs> how is it? How do you say it? Chicken tikka masala. Oh, is that how you say it? I think so, but I think chicken tiki masala is really funny. <laughs> you let me say chicken tiki masala so many times before you brought it up. Chicken tiki masala and chicken tiki masala. Tiki masala, chicken tiki masala. <laughs> I can see them putting popcorn. No one likes popcorn like that much. I don't think that's true. I think you're wrong. <laughs> Do you have favorite like breakfast food? Like waffles or pancakes would be on there. I think I would put pancakes on Good, there. Good, okay. I was gonna say pancakes, but then I didn't wanna like lead you on with pancakes. <laughs> pasta. Yeah, let's do pizza, put pizza. This feels like just what a seven-year-old would eat. <laughs> I, see, I see pizza as strong one, two, or three, and probably one. Oh, what about bagels? Oh, yeah. Like, Do you have a favorite bagel? Everything. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Cookies. Because, like, certainly chicken's in my top ten. No, I like chicken. I guess it just depends on how it's made, you know? We'll put chicken on there. Chicky nugs. I like salmon a lot. But I, I was gonna say salmon before. Okay, let's put salmon down. I bet you they put ice cream, but how do you feel about pesto? I like pesto. Like I'll top pesto. 10 material? I think so. Or like, um, oh, actually, I bet they put watermelon. Do we like any vegetables? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of looking like no. I like vegetables, but I but think it would be yeah. a stretch to be like, yeah, let's take out pizza and throw in cauliflower. In Lucy's defense, I've been letting Hallie say chicken tiki masala for years, despite knowing that that's not how you say it. Oh Why God. did you do that? <laughs> Everyone in my life has. Couple times, the first couple times, I couldn't tell if you were saying chicken tikka or tiki, and I just was like, whatever. And then it was too many times for me to correct you, and then it became kind of cute. It's also, it's also worth noting that on your list, you have both had chicken tikka masala and then just chicken. Just chicken. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> Wait, there was a portion, like, before we nailed down our list where we had white cheddar Annie's mac and cheese and white cheddar cheeses. <laughs> and we were like, that's, 
That's like, a lot of white those brands. Well, we, we have a couple of verdicts for you to render. Hallie and Lucy had on their list chicken. Uh, the other team guessed chicky nugs. <laughs> what do we think about that? I don't know what to think about that because they also had chicken tiki masala on there. Yeah, whatever. I'm just going to give it to them because I gave the chicken tenders for the other team. I don't care that much and I can't think of many other preparations of chicken, to be honest. Okay, and another one, a little more of a stretch. So the ultimate food on the guest list was uh, grilled cheese. Uh, The most cheese-like thing Hallie and Lucy had was mozzarella sticks. Though Izzy did try to get through cheese. No. <laughs> to be clear, I would have accepted neither of those in place of mozzarella sticks. Cheese is too varied. Cheese by itself is also, I'm having a bad day with cheese, so I'm a little biased against it right now. But <laughs> I forgot I was lactose intolerant again. Um, so, she- <laughs> so that gives um, Noah, Isaac, and Izzy uh, pizza was correct, chicken nuggets was correct, and fries was correct and in the right place for a total of four points. Four points to their five. It, the, it feels like the person who made the list was like a toddler on morphine. Like it's some very, very specific things like, oh, like mozzarella sticks, whatever. And then also just like chicken. Like peanut butter, <laughs> like vague things from their past. To calm things down a little bit, Malia, I think it's time we um, hear some soothing music. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, Izzy. Uh, oh my god! It is our first time trying to record this. Wow, who would have thought? Yeah, okay. Me. Write and record the most soothing lullaby. The lullaby must last at least 20 seconds and must include the following. A reference to acclaimed actor Sir Michael Caine. The word beluga, the number 18. Most soothing lullaby wins. You have one hour. Your time starts now. (laughs) Oh my god. Michael Caine. I don't know who that is. Oh, that that actually, the talk's really nice. He talks, he talks. Michael Caine. He talks like that. I did not find that impersonation particularly soothing, I'll say. (laughs) That was it. (laughs) Yeah, that was the lullaby. (laughs) Took us an hour to write. (laughs) Yeah, so in their lullabies, they had to include a reference to uh, claimed actor Sir Michael Caine, the word beluga, and the number 18. Let's see Isaac's team. I say with a sneer. Uh, Get that foot ready, Mel. Hey, Tiger. Can't fall asleep. Tired of counting sheep and just can't seem to fall asleep on my shoulder, rest your troubled head and sing beneath this double bed. Eighteen leagues under the sea, let's take a trip. Sandy's footprints on the 
You know what? I'm going to focus on what I didn't like because that's easier for me to do. The intro made me so unbelievably uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I have Isaac and Noah one by one and two and go, hey, tiger. <laughs> but then you sing a beautiful song. I'm so crying that. Like, it's so Just show me the other one. Shut up. All right, here is Hallie and Lucy's song. Where are you, baby beluga? Are you swimming along in the sea? You have some dreaming to get to, so make your way home back to me. The swordfish are done with their jousting. The salmon are swimming upstream. The oysters are snug in their beds now. They're whirling in swirling pearl dreams. Oh, baby beluga, 18 seas couldn't keep us apart. The sun has said it's time to come home, but you'll always be home in my heart. The tides flow in with the moonlight, and whirlpools spin just like Mars. Each constellation a new bedtime story, while the bubbles are bright like the stars. I know that you want to keep playing, but I promise I can guarantee. Once you are home, you'll say now you see me like the Sir Michael Caine fantasy. Sometimes people will tell you Plenty of fish in the sea Baby beluga, I know it for sure That you're the fishy for me Oh, baby beluga Eighteen seas couldn't keep us apart the sun has said it's time to come home, but you'll always be home in my heart. You are my warmth, you are my light, so baby beluga, good night. It was fine. <laughs> yeah, like, not the worst thing I've ever heard. Yeah, I liked it. <laughs> okay. Cool task. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> they were real good. I refuse to pick a favorite um five points for everyone you all suck i love you okay next thing it is now time for a score update there are a lot of points this episode at the top we have a tie between the team of hallie and lucy 
both of them with 15 points. It is very much anyone's game going into the final task of the show. I'd like you guys to do something dumb so I can move past this. So for the final task of the show, um, everyone should have 12 items in front of them. A pen, a book. They can read. Uh, a spoon, a fork, a knife, a glass, a phone, a shoe, a water bottle, a toothbrush, a hat, which you are all wearing, and a can of something. Isaac, would you now please read out the final task? I would love to. From the items in front of you, pick a group of three. Everyone starts with four points. You will lose a point for each item you pick that someone else also picks. If you have the same group of items as someone else, you get zero points. There is a bonus item worth one point. You will have 40 seconds to choose your items. Malia has chosen a special bonus item. So consider that in your choosing of the items. You'll have 40 seconds to choose three items, put them in front of you, and then we will uh, go down the line and, and see what everyone has chosen. Your time starts now. I'm going to pick the shoe. No one pick the shoe. Daddy. Like this, so that's going to be tough. Oh. <laughs> Can they do that? Isaac, what if we both pick want. spoon? Spoon? I already picked the spoon, too. Can Owen be my object? <laughs> we have a list of 12 objects. Are you on it? No, I, we just went over <laughs> them. 10 seconds. Can I wear the hat even if I don't pick the hat? Yeah, I'm not picking my hat, just so everyone knows. Oh, well, then I might pick the hat. <laughs> pick it, then. Can I pick okay. it? Just Time is up. Everyone, oh. uh, hands down, have your items. We'll start with Noah. Noah, say your three items. Silverware. It's the knife, the fork, and the spoon. All right. Isaac, say your three items. The hat, the knife, the cup. All right. So Isaac and Noah both have a knife. They've both lost a point so far. Hallie, what are your three items? Phone, cup, and pen. Well, that sucks. Isaac has lost two points. Hallie has lost one point. Izzy, what are your three items? Oh, oh that's sick. That is unfortunate. So both Izzy and Noah will be getting zero points. Be okay with that. <laughs> All because I wasn't allowed to pick Owen. I want everyone to know. <laughs> Lucy, your three items. Um, the book, the toothbrush, and the shoe. Oh, sick. I believe no one else has picked any of those items. So Lucy will be getting a full four points for that. Malia, do you have a bonus item? I do. I have written down glass. I didn't write slash cup, but that is the item I picked because I thought it was the most boring. So Hallie and Isaac both get a bonus point for that item. For this task, um, Hallie getting uh, three points, Lucy getting the full four points, Izzy and Noah unfortunately both getting zero points, and Isaac uh, two points off, yet uh, get the bonus point as well. Final score right up for the episode, um, at the bottom with 13 points, uh, we have Izzy. However, um, in joint first place, thanks to some fantastic teamwork this episode, we have Hallie and Lucy. And now you're being pitted against each other. And now you're being pitted against each other in a tiebreaker task. So here we go. Write down as many animals as you can. You have 15 seconds. Your time starts now. Start. Okay. Rabbit. Lizard. And snake. done. Okay. Is that it? Mm-hmm. Well, wait. Okay. It, now it says draw all of the animals you just wrote down. You have 45 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay. All right. Cow, sheep, pig, goat, duck. Okay. Here's the cat. Well, let's start here. Here's the cat. Here's the dog. Oh, I loved lion. I went really big on lion for some reason. Tiger was up here because he had stripies. The bear, I don't know why he was standing up and why his arms look like that, but that's the bear. <laughs> what else? Oh, walrus. I kind of like him. I ran out of time to draw more of him, but you get the walrus vibe. Uh, dolphin is here. Fish. 
fish and jellyfish. Lucy, you had five animals, but Hallie, you had nine. Hallie, you had more animals drawn. Um, not necessarily prettier animals, but more animals, and that was the criteria. So, prettier animals, I think we can say. Very comfortable. <laughs> I want Hallie's jellyfish tattooed on my body. I would let you do that. In fact, I'd be honored. So Hallie with more animals, meaning Hallie is the winner of this episode, putting her back into the lead for uh, series episodes. All right, that is it for this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Um, at the end of the season, one person is going to be crowned the winner, but there will also be a prize for the person who wins the most individual episodes. So look out for that. See you next week. <laughs>